as early as one week from today. However, this has left those people who are actually still living at the Hart Mobile Village wondering what's next for them. KSHB 41 News reporter Mackenzie Nelson spoke with one resident who says she has nowhere else to go. Heart Mobile Village is nearly vacant, but there still are a handful of residents living on site, and that includes Zoila Guzman, who's wheelchair bound and needs a little extra help relocating. But she says after months of negotiating with the county, she's not received a reasonable offer. I've been asking before um, if they can find me a place uh, according to my needs, like for a special shower and ramp and grow bars inside and all around the kitchen. Guzman told KSHB 41 she was offered $20,000 on paper, but most recently was verbally offered $40,000 to move from the property. The neighborhood sits right off of Highway 40 and is the site for Jackson County's new jail. Guzman says the offers she's received are far too low for her to find a new home with the accessibility that she needs. Absolutely not. They, I think they know that but they don't want to give him more money. Another challenge for Guzman is her lack of income. Due to her disability, she's unable to work, making it difficult to rent. I don't have any income, so the, it's a challenge for me to find a place that would take me. Guzman and her neighbors were notified last year that they would need to find a new place to live. Since then, Guzman has had advocates rallying around her. To find a home for $20,000, to find the accessibility components, and even a rental, um, you know, that $20,000 is going to go like that. And that is the problem as we look at long term the impact of these residents. A county spokesperson tells KSHB 41 that the Community Services League and county staff will continue to work with everyone involved to find permanent housing. They say at this time, five residents remain at Hart Mobile Village. Three are awaiting court action. One is in the process of relocating and one does not have a plan in place. For Zoila's situation, they've said that they will evict you. Um, and so at that point, you just created someone who had stable housing and created an environment where they will become houseless. And that's the county, they, the county's got to figure that out. That's the county's responsibility. That's the commitment they made when they acquired this property to the residents. Guzman tells KSHB 41 that she is not asking for much, saying she is only looking for what she already has. I also ask him if they come to see the, the way I live, that way, uh, that way they do uh, everything um, that I request for but uh, they never want to come. According to the county, construction is set to begin as early as Monday. In Kansas City, Mackenzie Nelson, KSHB 41 News.